Alright, welcome everyone to some Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We're back. It's fucking 11 o'clock. I took a four hour nap, which is more sleep than I got the entirety of last night. So you can tell that I'm ready, I'm focused, I'm willing to fight. I'm here. Okay, let's do this. Last video, we got our absolute shit pushed in by some random energy. Uh, I did fuck up a ton, but I also got random energy, so I'll blame the random energy instead of me, because, come on, that's easier to do. Uh, this time around, no random energy, we removed it from the game, just, just, just cut it, cut and dry, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, there was no problems whatsoever. Um, yeah, thank goodness. Now, about that weird thing that I was talking about last video, where I was like, oh, what the fuck, is it, uh, it's broken, the game, the game is telling me shit, um, that I didn't want to know. It's telling me, like, the brand and stuff. Well, actually, that has been... That was changed a couple of days ago, and I was totally right. Uh, it says right here. Partial Mostener item identification has increased over time, blah, 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 blah. What this does uh, is... Uh, I think it's like it just tells you whatever the hell um, an enemy is holding, including the enchantment, which is crazy. So, I guess that means that you can't wield ID cursed shit anymore? Like, I, I guess? I don't really know what the point of this is, like, exactly. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to experiment more, look at the behavior of how the identification game works, but generally speaking, I think anything that's I wielded by another opponent is gonna be... Uh, oh god, I already messed up. Uh, yeah, any, anything wielded by the opponent is already gonna be automatically... Uh, like, ID. I, I think that's how that's work, that works. I haven't really checked, like I said. I, I just... I was suspicious before, now I'm, like, actually looking deep at it. Alright, anyway. Our character is going along well. We got an 8-headed Hydra against us now. Uh, I want to turn into a Ice Beast and then almost instantly die. Taking about 50 damage in one turn, which is really good. That's exactly what you want to see from a character like mine. Uh, just instantly die. That's fine. It's all good. It doesn't matter. It's not relevant to us. Alright, Amulet of Reflection, that's going to give us two extra shield, which makes us uh, slightly less worthless than before. My character is kind of weak, I would say. Um, the problem with Transmuters is that they're fucking squishy as all hell. Like, you saw there, in about, like, less than three turns, I got fucking obliterated. I lost, like, half my health. And that's pretty much just the way that we play. Until our Transmutation gives us some kind of defensive maneuver... We're just fucked. Like, that's just how it is. It's unfortunate, but that's just the truth. Um, but we're gonna- we can- we can deal with that. With the power of, uh, love. And, uh, a dark depression. We can actually face off against our- our aggressors and just, you know, attack them with absolute disdain, I guess. Distastefulness. Look at the damage on that character. My goodness. What a fun and balanced thing that this is. My god. <sighs> Alright, I don't know why our character- Oh, our character's ass because we don't train any dodging, probably. But do I care? Probably not, to be honest. I don't think it matters. I should probably train some dodging. I'm not going to. That's just a pleb thing to do, you know what I mean? Why would I do that? I can just blame RNG, it's fine. Like, look, uh, randomly turn the corner into a Hydra? That's RNG. That's nothing to do with me. I was completely, perfectly optimal right there. Uh, I'm gonna probably get killed if I try to fight these guys. Ooh, I got the slow on the Hydra. I just needed to fight him there, then and there. Because if I didn't, I wouldn't be able to get a slow on the Hydra. That was important, I guess. Okay. Ice Beast! Ice Beast! Come on, kill him! Yeah. Like, man, it's uncomfortable playing a Transmuter. You, you take, like, at least 30% of your health in, like, every single fight. It's just... Makes you feel bad. Even with regen, I'm still taking a pretty big amount of damage. Regen from both the troll of their armor and also from the spell. Like, gosh. I was really hoping that I would have some less painful experiences today, but apparently not. Okay, while I'm in the water, I should definitely be blade handing it up. Um, that's probably what I want to do the whole time. Okay, because I'll get the extra evade bonus from being a merfolk, and then I'll also get the damage boost from being a blade hand guy. Ah, my goodness. Alright. 
Everything's going on pretty quick. Uh, everything's going pretty well. I think I want to pick up Agony at some point. Agony being good because it takes out Hydras. Uh, it doesn't sound like it takes out Hydras, but it totally takes out Hydras. I'm going to get rid of Beastly Appendages, in fact, just because I'm never going to use it ever. Uh, ever again, realistically. I think I don't have enough slots anymore, anyway. Alright, so Agony is really good. I think I want to put that on, like, G. I usually put that on, on E, but because we have that Blade Hands already, I guess we don't need that. Okay, there is a volcano on this floor. This character can go in it for a bit, but I might end up dying if things go bad, so yeah. Just gonna have to chill, I guess, and try my best. Alright, that's a, a bunch of death yaks. There's probably no chance in hell that we can do this now. Uh, unless maybe we, like, agility and use blade hands, I guess. Like, Blade Hands, like, shits on these guys in terms of damage. But the problem is we might not survive long enough to actually... Ooh. Wow, we actually killed them all. Holy crap, that was impressive. Okay, let's just move towards the Volcano while healing. We have a ton of regen, so... Shouldn't be too bad. Our allies are lagging behind. That's okay, we'll just let them do that. Uh, do I have Ding? Yes, I do. I'm probably going to use that to go through this area. I'm going to put the fire resistance, uh, the fire ring on, and I'm going to remember not to use my, uh, ice form, because obviously ice form gives me some significant loss, uh, to fire resistance, and I'd rather not have that, if possible. So I have only one pip of fire resistance, this is going to be pretty fucking spooky. I'm going to try my best, and I'm going to hope that I don't die accidentally, because that's totally something that could happen. Um, gonna stand back here and just kind of wait around the corner and hopefully not get killed. That's a Hell Knight. Uh, okay, uh, how are we gonna do this? How the fuck are we gonna do this? Um, I need a haste. Oh man, I don't think I can fight a Hell Knight. That's the problem. Like, I just don't, I legitimately don't think I can fight a Hell Knight. Yeah, I, I actually don't- I think I'll die if I do that fight. Like, I was at 50 HP already, and then fighting a Hell Knight, like, just straight up kill me. And that seems pretty bad, so I'm not gonna do it. That really sucks, but, you know, that's kind of what we're expecting. The character is way too weak. Hmm. I don't know what that was. That was weird. Sorry, you can't see that, but, um... I basically just started frothing at the mouth, and I was like, oh, this is how I die. And I realized, oh wait, no, that's just, I just brushed my teeth. And then, for some reason, it just, my mouth is completely dry right now. I probably need to, um, take a sip of water. Sorry. My apologies. But everyone knows that drinking water is good for your health. So, you know, you gotta do it. It's necessary. It's, it's a human right, damn it. Don't deny me of these small pleasures in life. I literally woke up, like, 20 minutes ago. I did a lecture theatre. Uh, sorry, I did, a, I did a lecture recording. My fucking lecturer recorded the wrong screen on uh, the dual screen monitor, that uh, the dual screen setup that he has at the theater. So basically all of the like writing out stuff and all the demonstrative diagrams that he drew were not recorded. So I'm like, fuck. Oh gosh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, well, we're gonna have to just fight our way through, I guess. For no real reason. Other than we're being an idiot. Oh god, this is totally not trivial optimal. Oh, that's really not trivial optimal. I, I need to teleport here. Yup. Let me heal wounds. I probably could have gotten away with curing, but I didn't want to risk it. It just seemed kind of unnecessary to risk there. I did lose a lot, but hey, whatever, it's fine. Oh man, I'm just really hoping this character eventually turns into something, because if he doesn't, I'm going to be re <laughs> real sad. I don't know what to do. Okay, Borgenshaw's Valve Clutch is down to 24% fail. That's pretty good, actually. Um, I probably can't afford to use it right now, but at some point I probably will. The also, uh, also a big problem that this character has is the fact that I'm fucking running two uh, wizardry rings, and that's not really, like super sustainable, so at some point I'm gonna have to repay my dividends and uh, switch over to a better defensive ring at the cost of losing my spell fail rate. So, 
basically what you're seeing right now is not the final product. It's actually better than what we have uh, spell casting wise. So I'm gonna need to pretty much be uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to be training quite a lot to catch up. Um, yeah, kind of sucks, but that's okay. We'll have to. Like, we, we knew what we were getting ourselves into. We're getting a boost now. We're gonna lose it later on. That's fine. It's all good. Okay, so this place here is kinda bad, until you realize that I can just animate dead to create a big wall of summons, and then that's pretty strong against these guys. Unfortunately, though, I'm still getting poisoned through our poise, because I'm just I'm just apparently an asshole, and I don't have any, any skills in this game, supposedly. But you can see here that I'm just, I'm literally a summoner right now. I don't have to do anything. I can just walk back. Now that there's a uh, entropy weaver on the screen, I need to run away because you know I'm not strong enough to deal with an entropy weaver and even a one v one. I might even have to like not do this floor. That's how weak this character is. I don't know how I went from like the strongest guy to the weakest guy. Oh, that's right, because I'm a fucking transmuter that didn't go for the octopus room. Oh god. Okay, whatever. Um, is anything Arca Road? I don't think so. I'm just gonna have to punch this asshole. Yeah, there we go. Stabbing with these disgusting scythe hands. Yummy. Okay, I can't eat this ant, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna have to eat a ration here, unfortunately. It's okay though, we're gonna have to just deal with it. Deal with the consequences. Hey look, it's a flail. I bet you it's a really good flail. Like, just hilariously good. I just wanna see it. I wanna see it. Ah, oh, it's not that good. That's okay. It's not bad. It's not great. Put that on the ground. You know, sometimes you just gotta be a bit curious about about what things are happening. What, what are what are the what are the artifacts in your life that might be making your life better? You know, you gotta appreciate these things. Anyway, I'm turning into Ice Form because Ice Form lets me get our poise. I didn't mention that, but that's basically the reason why I'm using our poise in this place. It's pretty good. Uh, okay, so Nemelex Max Piety gives us the ability to either brand a weapon with pain or receive a Necronomicon. Almost always you'll receive a brand weapon, a pain weapon, because pain weapons are fucking amazing. But because this character is unarmed, I don't need to worry about that, and I can just go ahead and grab a Necronomicon. Nice and easy. Um, and that gives us Borgenjaw's Revivication, Haunt, Death's Door, Infestation, Necromutation. Now, of these, obviously Necromutation is the big one that we were caring about. It's uh, going to be a very long time coming because it's a level 8 spell. But on top of uh, Necromutation, we can also pick up stuff like Death's Door and Bjorn is Borgenjol's Revivication, which is actually the OG Borgenjol's uh, spell, instantly healing any and all wounds suffered to the caster at the permanent cost of health um, based on power. And because I'm with Kiku, I actually lose less, I believe. Um, and it doesn't work on if you're in Lich form. Infestation is really good in this game as well. Basically what it is, is every time you kill an opponent, they explode into Death Scarabs, which if you've done Tomb, you'll know that they're actually really fucking strong. So it's actually a really good reason to play like a full Necromancer. It's actually a very good spell, especially when combined with something like Death Channel, which will summon an, uh, an ally upon death. Um, and then animate dead on top of that. You just you can see where things go crazy nuts, uh, especially if you get like Bongel's Vile Clutch to start the party, or you have some kind of pain weapon to start it all off. Uh, so generally speaking, it's actually really really good. But for my intents and purposes, I don't know how many level eight spells I can learn in the course of this game because obviously I am like also putting a shitload of points into the game. Uh, I have a plan for this character. I don't know if anyone would like to watch this, but I could actually switch over to McLeb and then do 15 runes on this character as a Lich. Like, it's not the worst idea, it's not great. It's, it's re like, realistically speaking, it's a shitty idea, but, you know, it's it's a meme run, I don't really care that much if it dies. Oh, well, you know, I care if it dies, but, like, relatively, it's on Pina Colada. It's, Pina Colada's not exactly a win rate account, I guess. Like, it's not an actually serious account. Pina Colada is literally a meme that I made back in like 2012 or some shit, some, oh, 2014 or something. It's actually a really old account. I mean, might actually be 2016. But yeah, Pina Colada is actually one of the oldest Smurf accounts that I've ever had. Uh, I made it as a joke just because I liked that uh, Rupert Holmes song. Um, and then, like, I literally just played on it because I was sick of people spectating me and talking to me and, 
like, basically bullying me online. I was bullied as a child. As a dungeon crawl stone soup child. I, I was actually internet bullied. Um, at the time. So I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play on my own fucking account. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be a, I'm a rock star, baby. You can't know who I am. Otherwise, I'm gonna be fucking, I'm gonna be fucking bombarded with art autographs. Not really. More, more so, I was just like, they were asking me questions and I was like, I'll answer them. But I kind of want to just play during a lecture. I'm, I don't really pay attention to chat. I feel bad. So then I, I picked up Pina Colada. And then that... It's like, it's like a fucking drug. Having a Smurf account, they're like drugs, man. Holy shit. I'm like, oh, I gotta make myself a new Smurf account. Oh, yes. Ooh, 100% win rate. Ooh, trivial optimal. Ooh, wind's coming. Yum. Um. <laughs> it's, hard. it's so hard to tell, even for me, if I'm telling the truth or I'm just, like, shit posting. I'm probably shit posting, but it is kind of nice to uh, have new accounts to let me test different things. I usually use accounts as, like, uh, mini experiments, I guess. Hmm. Why is my mouth so dry today? What the hell's going on? What is this? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Sorry. Again, off-screen recording. You can't see this, but, you know. My mouth just completely dried up again. Like, I was talking. Ah, shit. Okay, what I'm gonna have to do is, I'm gonna have to do a cheeky cheeky Hello Snog. What you doing over here? And then I'm gonna just like just leg it over here. Now you might think that's a waste of a blink scroll. Yeah, but teleport could fucking obliterate me in, on less six. You gotta be careful on less six. Cause things might be bad. Alright, snog meet millions and millions and millions of snakes. How about that? Hmm? Good with that? Never stop throwing more, more, more snakes at you. Look at that. That is the power of uh, whatever the hell I just did. Also, because I'm a sick fuck, I'm just gonna go ahead and wear your skin. Even though I already have perfectly serviceable troll skin, I'm gonna go ahead and wear yours. It's some kind of uh, sick fetish thing. I apologize in advance. I hope it was consensual. Oh wait, you're dead. That makes it even more fucked up. But you know, it's dungeon crawl stone soup, baby. It's what we live for. Oh, shit on my face. Oh, uh, Ice Blast. Yeah. I'm slowed. This is really scary. Oh, God. This is... Okay, I'm gonna have to TP. Fuck, man. I'm gonna have to move left one turn. There we go. I didn't want to move... In, in that scenario there, I didn't want to move up right... Up left, because it would take me... Get me hit by the uh, the slug. I also didn't want to move down left because I could have gotten shot by Carrera again. Basically, I just oh man, that was that was rough. Okay, we're we're getting like shit's popping off right now. I don't know how to handle that, to be honest with you. Okay, what's the scroll? It's silence. I wish I had that scroll in real life so I could silence myself forever. Yeah, like sound cancelling doesn't really help um, anymore. I'm just so fucking out of it. I'll explain why at the end. Um, I have talked about it a little bit on Discord, but it's not serious, but like it's just. Oh man. Okay, I think disintegration just shits all over Sonya, so just use that. Okay, you're just trolling me now, right? You're, you're actually trolling me? You're going straight through my RPOIs? That's very rude. I'll have you know, that's very rude. I don't think that should be uh, that should be even legal. That that's not fair. Okay, let's just do the old run around with a uh, ten uh, with a ten speed enemy while regening like crazy, and then just heal up. Easy peasy. Do I have blink? If I get blink, that'd be nice. Do I have blink? I do not have blink. Okay, fair enough. I do have Borgenjoel's Vault Clutch though, so that's pretty good. Uh, I really want to turn on Umdoff. I'm going to keep it up till 18 and then I'm just going to turn it off. Actually, you know what, it's swinging at 0.7 right now. I'll train it to whatever the hell is next and then I'll just turn it off after that. I would prefer to have it as high as possible, but right now we have other things that we need to train. Dodging, Earth Magic, Necromancy, all these good things. Hmm. I might be dying. I might, I might be dying. <laughs> 
I, I don't know what's wrong with me. My mouth is so dry. I'm... Hmm. Hmm. I, I'm, I literally drank water just before this recording, because my mouth is always dry when I record. I know it sounds stupid, but like, it's actually kind of tough to talk for 40 minutes straight with a dry mouth. But it's just like completely dried out right now. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm sorry that you have to hear about this, but you know. My struggle is your struggle. That's that's the true life. True true feelings. Uh, hmm. I guess it's worth it to just push on through this like one zone here. Alright, I'm just gonna create a shitload of snakes hopefully and just... Can I get some moccasins? Thank you. Thank you. I was gonna say, come on, give me some moccasins here. I'm having a, as much difficulty as I am. You, ca you, gotta, you can't just give me fucking ball pythons. You know I have transmutations. I have the qualifications to have good snakes on me. Come on. There's no need for you to give me shitty ones. You know that I'm good. Alright, man. These hellhounds are just relentless in their pursuit. Ugh. Okay. That works. I should pre-cost regen because, uh... For whatever reason, um, Blade Hands interferes with spell casting. Like, no idea why that's a thing, but it just, yeah, it just, it just is. So, I should remember to pre-cast regen before I do Blade Hands. That should, that, that's the right order to things. I don't know, whatever, it's fine. Uh, slow in a flame, pod projectile, cause fear in leaders, liquef liquefaction. Not particularly impressive spells, I guess. I'm gonna leave the Worm Vault um, for today because I'll come back to it probably later on if I remember. It's just not worth my time. I'm gonna probably die in there and it just seems kind of painful. Okay, let's turn on the combat off. I really want to train some Earth Magic, but I also want to train Dodging right now. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll turn Spell Casting off for a brief time, turn some Earth Magic on, and then focus on Dodging for a bit. I feel like my Dodging could go up way higher, but I just haven't really invested too much in it. So we'll, it, we'll, we'll take a look at how our dodging changes as we go up in skill. Alright, that was very, very unfortunate there. Uh, we got corroded and then God knows what happened there. Alright, I'm going to fight the slimes 1v1 because apparently I can't fight them 2v1 yet. I'm just not good enough. I'm not advanced enough. That's just how it is. You wish it wasn't like that, but, you know, sometimes it's how it is. Oh, there's fucking Rupert again. Hey, Rupert, you piece of shit. Welcome back, idiot. Fucking asshole. God. Okay, what are we going to do about that? Uh, probably just going to run around and just not fight him for a bit. Hopefully. Ugh, okay. Well, kill the demonologist in one hit. That's the power of blade hands, baby. Uh turn into a ice beast, I guess. Cast regen. Pull back. Into this corridor. And then just fight them over here, I guess. Ouch. Cast Bongjol's Vault Clutch. That's good AoE. And it does damage over time, which is good. And you can see there, it's actually really effective. Like, I haven't even got a decent spell power yet, and it's still fucking doing a ton of damage. That's kind of the benefit of picking... BBC, I guess. Okay, raise the dead. Grab these gloves. They're plus one instead of plus zero. I'll take it, whatever. I don't use the gloves at all, really, because I always morph into a thing, but whatever, it's fine. Theoretically, normal form, like, character, normal form transmuter is actually not horrible because you have a good amount of defense, but at the same time, you lose most of your offensive, like, capability. I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to justify, um... Like, oh god, okay, I should probably be over here when I do this. I want to create a good surround on the double-headed ogre. Okay, I'll just kill him then, it's fine. Uh, definitely int, yeah. Definitely int. Definitely want to have some more potentially good uh, spell failure rates and spell, fun spell hunger functions. I don't think dex or strength are actually relevant to transmuters anymore. They don't scale, because they don't scale with uh, stats. They used to scale with stats, the damage of uh, transmutive things. Like, strength used to directly affect the damage. Oh, shit on my face. Fucking god. I didn't notice that I got par- No! 
No fucking way, dude. No way. I have to actually blink out of this or I'm gonna die. That's so sad. That's... Okay, well, that, that was on me. That one, that one was on me. Okay. Oh, paralysis is a fun and interactive thing. You fucker. You f fucking shit. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna dig our way through this situation. Oh my god. Okay, well, more stuff's coming towards me. That's fine, though. We're just gonna run away. Don't got a plan. Just run away. Oh my god. Okay, sorry, for a brief second there, I heard silence, like, pure silence, and I almost cried. Um, I'm being held, uh, he's back. I don't know if you can hear it, but, like, you know what's up. Everyone knows what's up. I don't want to say it in case the people who are watching that don't know what's up are, like, getting sublimed by it. You know, oh my god, fuck. I'm going insane, man. I'm actually going insane. I'm going insane. I've been... I've had, on average, like, six hours of sleep a day, and that sounds good, until you realize that it's actually three hours, three hours, three hours, and then 14 hours. Um, that's how I've been sleeping in the last week, because I just... I can't handle this noise. I can't handle this disruption. Uh, it's actually... It's actually ruining my life. I'm actually being fucking obliterated by this. I don't know what to do. I am... Oh... God, my eyes twitching. It doesn't stop twitching. I'm, I'm going crazy. I'm actually going crazy. Someone help! Send help! Send send me a big old. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. No. 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 Demise. We've 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 talked over this. We can't we can't talk about it on air. It's just not it's not appropriate. It's not family friendly. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. My goodness, that's a lot of big stuff too. I'm running away. I'm not dealing with that shit. Oh, there was an ant next to it, me the whole time. I didn't even notice. Alright, Rupert, if that is your real name, I'm gonna go ahead and say, fuck off, I'm not gonna deal with your shit, I'm just gonna leave you behind. Holy crap, okay. Use Borgonjol's Bar Clutch, yummy. 7% Borgonjol's Bar Clutch, delicious. I'll take it. Couldn't ask for a better meal, you know what I mean? A more delicious aspect. I don't know why I continuously describe things as delicious, but I'm gonna do it, because, you know... That's good shit. Right there. I had chicken con 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 can con can con con today, and it was pretty good. That's my like contribution for the day. For saying delicious things. Alright, I'm gonna summon a guy, Val Clutch, and then supplement my summons with more undead, uh, and then eventually some bees. I mean some snakes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just like completely cry because Rupert just absolutely shrugged off everything that I threw at him just then. Like, without even thinking, he just shit on our dreams. But that's okay, you know, that's what Rupert does. Our character is completely helpless to stop him from just violating our rights, just completely piercing through our magic resistance, you know. Like, absolutely, you know, paralyzed, paralyzed beating me, if you will. Um, we're helpless to stop him, but that's okay, we'll have to deal, unfortunately. Oh, there's melee on this floor. That's really fun and enjoyable. You know what's good? Uh, getting smote every turn by something that moves faster than you. That's enjoyable. So that's a good mechanic. Um, thankfully they die in one hit, but like, they still, if, if there's three of them, you're just fucked. You have to run away by teleporting. You can't actually try to fight them because you'll just die. It's stupid. I, I am surprised how many arrows we have. Last video, we fucking ran out somehow. This time we have 273. Like, we're not that much different from our old character. In fact, we were better on the old character, so it really makes you wonder. How did that happen? Also, I'm starting to starve again, and that really makes me upset. What's this? Cloud immunity. Do I care about that or 1 AC? I... actually prefer 1 AC somehow. Like... Not even joking, like, unironically, kind of prefer 1AC. 
because it's just it's just really good to have extra AC at this point in the game. And cloud immunity is pretty niche compared to just having an extra bit of armor. That's kind of dumb sounding, but hey, whatever, we'll do it. <sighs> One shadow and I have to blade hands. I probably didn't have to blade hands, but you know, I felt the urge to, so I did it. And then I didn't, I didn't, I didn't fucking blade hands with the Tengu. I don't get it. What's wrong with me? My, my, my hands. These hands, they're not doing the right thing. Okay. Turn into merfolk form. You know, um, there's actually like a, oh my fucking god, I'm gonna die. Uh, that's right, vampires can't cross deep water. That's one of your taboos. You can confuse the shit out of me, but you can't, you can't hit me with yourself. What, I'm, uh, sorry, I don't know what I was talking about. I got distracted again. I'm starving, by the way. Just BT does. But now I'm back. I'm, I'm better than ever. There we go. Ooh, an unknown staircase up. What could that be? Probably a vault that will fucking obliterate me. A yak tour. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there's nothing there. It was just a big penis in the middle of nowhere. Why the fuck is that the thing? Is it... That's very immature. That's very immature. How does a yak tour... I'm trying to figure out the parallels between a yak tour and, like, semen. To, like, dis discern where the, where the, where the, uh, double entendre is. Where the, where the dirty joke is hidden. Because, you know, the devs, absolutely dirty. Uh, okay, this is where BBC just comes in handy. You see that guy that's stuck? He's just completely ignoring my BBC. Come on now. Come on, I very specifically 